How about this next hadith? That's Muhammad's own word. And come obviously from Sahih Muslim, which another 100% true hadith. Muhammad says, I have been commanded to fight against people till they testify to the fact that there is no God but Allah. And believe in me that I am the messenger and in all that I have brought. Muhammad was ascended by Allah to this world to do one thing, to force people to become Muslim. How? By killing them if they refuse to become a Muslim. Why not our media, CBS and CNN and even Fox, but some of these words of Muhammad for you American people to know the truth about Muhammad, the prophet of peace. Why do not, they do not put verses of the Quran in our media so the American people know what the Quran teach about love and peace. It's amazing. There are over 350 verses in the Quran teach nothing but hate. As we're going to read a few, few of these verses in the next few moments. And not one verse not one verse, one statement in the Quran teach love. But how Islam has spread all over our country for the last seven years, since September 11 until today, every year between 500, 600,000 Americans become Muslim. Why? Because they heard the media and the media told them over and over again, Islam is a religion of peace, is a religion of love. Can any Muslim share with us one verse, teach a Muslim to love somebody who is not a Muslim? You could not find it anywhere in the Quran or in the Hadith. In chapter 9, verse 14, and by the way, if you do not know anything about the Quran, chapter 9 is the last chapter has been revealed to Muhammad as Muslim claim. Every chapter in the Quran begins with the statement, in the name of Allah, the merciful, the merciful. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Except chapter 9. It is the only chapter, the last chapter has been revealed to Muhammad, does not have the statement, in the name of Allah, the merciful, the merciful. Why? Because Allah is no longer merciful. As a matter of fact, this chapter begins with the word bara'a. The word in Arabic, which means English, innocent. Allah and Muhammad are innocent from the blood of the Jew, Christian, anybody, everybody whom Muhammad will kill. Including those whom he even have a covenant with that he should not kill them. Listen to chapter 9, verse 14. For the Quran says, Fight them. God will torment them by your hands, and he will put them to shame, and he will give you victory over them, and he will heal the chest of a believing people. Do you know when the Muslim kill an infidel, he receive healing in his chest. When you revenge, you feel good about yourself. That's how Allah tells the Muslim, fight them. All over the Quran. It is not you who kills them, it was not your hand, but Allah used your hand to torment them. Fight them. How about this next verse? In chapter 8, verse 65, the Quran says, O oh, you prophet, provoke the believers to fight. If there will be 20 patient ones of you, they will have victory over 200. And if there is a hundred of you, they will have victory over a thousand of the infidels, because they are people who do not understand. What was Muhammad's job in his last days? To provoke the believers. Notice he did not say provoke the extremists. Provoke the, the uh, most Islam of fashion. The believers. Provoke the believers to fight. That's what Muhammad's job. Man, oh man. When you compare this to uh, the book of Hebrews says uh, in the Bible. When uh, uh, the author of the book of Hebrews says, Let's provoke one another into love. And to do good works. For when the Holy Spirit spoke in the Holy Scripture, the Bible, He told Christian believers to provoke one another to love and to do good work. But Satan in the Quran taught what? Oh Muhammad, provoke the believers to fight, to go out and kill. What about in chapter 9 verse 5? By the way, chapter 9 verse 5, it is the, it is the verse which delete, abrogate over uh, almost 124 verses in the Quran. All the early verses which Muhammad wrote or said in the early days of his life as he lived in Mecca among Christian and Jew, all of them has been abrogated with one verse, chapter 9, verse 5. Therefore, when you meet a Muslim and he quotes you the verse, no compulsion in religion, smile on his face and say, 9-5. That's all what I want you to say, just 9-5. He's not stupid. He's smart enough to know that you know what the Quran says. He is not stupid. He knows exactly if you read, or at least if you heard me, that 9-5 deleted any verse and every other verse which they try to bring peace and love. The Quran does not have one verse teach love or peace. But there is no compassion religion. Really? Why Muhammad?
Muhammad say no compassion religion because he had nobody to stand up with him to fight. But when he became strong, when he left Mecca and went to Medina, he started writing all the new verses of Medina. And therefore, Muslim practice the late verses of Medina, not early verses of Mecca. Abrogation is a very big doctrine in Islamic faith. So, in 9.5, the Quran says, So, when the forbidden months are past, so kill the idolaters wherever you find them, and take them, and besiege them, and lay wait for them with every kind of ambush. So if they repent, and perform the prayer, and give the zakat, so leave their way free. Surely God is forgiving. One of the biggest lie Muslim scholars try to give to American people say, yes, 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 there is verses of the Quran teach hate. Yes, there is verses of the Quran teach killing. But that's not for the fun of killing. These verses are only given for self-protection. And they will tell you this wonderful story. Imagine you live in your own home with your wife and your children in peace. And somebody comes to attack your wife or your kids. Will you stand there waiting for them to take over your life? No, you have to defend your family. And also you have to defend your city. And so you have to defend your country. So there are verses the Quran teach hate. But this is only for self-protection reasons. Really. What does the Quran say here? Let's look again at the verse. He says, so when the forbidden months are past, these are the four months where uh, Arab were in agreement with one another not to kill each other. What do you say there? Kill the idolaters wherever you find them. Not kill the idolaters when they come attack you. If they harm you, wherever you find them, you go and search for them. Second option Muslim have here after kill the idolater is take them slave. And the third option, obviously, is if they repent. Here we go. But, if, so if they repent, that's convert to Islam, then let them go free. The three options the Quran gave to American, this. Obviously, I promise you, if Obama became the president, he's not going to ask you to do this right now. Neither the next generation. I'm, I'm talking about 20 years from now, perhaps 25 years from now. When Muslims became become strong in this country, as they are already in Europe, they will force this to you, to your children, perhaps your grandchildren for sure. They will tell you, you become a Muslim, or you become a slave, or we're going to kill you. As a matter of fact, the order is wrong here. Kill you and slave, and then you become a Muslim. That's what they call Sharia Allah. Do you know that they are about to practice Sharia Allah in England? We're only 20, 25 years beyond, behind England. So what's happening in England, it will be here in 20 years or so. So, this is just one more verse in the Quran. Teach nothing but the barbaric way of the life of Muslim. Here we go. In uh, this verse, chapter 5, 72, it's a very important verse because there a great strict, strict command to the, to the infidel. And if, and, and if you tell the Muslim uh, about this, the, the chapter 5, 72 and 5, 73, as we read them, that the Quran command to kill the infidel, and I am a Christian infidel. No, 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 no. Christian are not infidel. I am a Jew, I am infidel. No, 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 no. Jewish are not infidel. Why? Here is the broken record. The lie which has been heard many, many times through our media. Christians are good people. Jews are good people. We believe in Jesus. We believe in Moses. Muslims say, we believe in the Bible. There are three religions worshiping the same God. The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. How many, one of, how many times did you hear this on the TV? We believe in the same God. We worship the same God. Christian, Jew, and Muslims are three godly religions. Really? What chapter 5, 72 says? The Quran says, Infidels indeed are those who said, Surely God is the Christ, son of Mary. Here's a question for you tonight. I want you to raise up your hand if you believe that Jesus Christ, son of Virgin Mary, is God. Raise up your hand. Do you all believe that Jesus Christ, son of Virgin Mary, is God Almighty? You know what you are? Infidel. I want to hear you. What you are? Thank you so much. Let's go to the next verse. Chapter 5, verse 73. For the Quran says, Infidels indeed are those who said, Surely God is the third of three. Well, here one more time question for you. This is your participation for tonight. Raise up your hand if you believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Trinity. Well, guess what you are? I can't hear you. Thank you so much. So, you are infidel because simply you're a Christian. So if you ever met a Muslim and he tell you, all oh, Christians are not infidels, say, uh, 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 I know for sure I'm an infidel. According to your Quran, I am an infidel. So what should Muslims do to the infidel? And this goes the verse. In chapter 47, verse 4, the Quran says, So when you meet the infidels, 
chop off their heads until you have made a great slaughter among them. When a Muslim meets a Christian, the infidel, that's you, your children, your grandchildren, he, was, he is commanded by his Allah, according to the Quran, to do what? To chop off your heads. Now, which part of chop off your head, American people, you don't understand? And what the media told us? Islam is a religion of peace. Islam is a religion of love. Muslims are our friend. Saudi, Saudi Arabia is our friend.